What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and welcome to my temple. Here I am and I had to prepare for Mortal Kombat. What I'm saying here is that I got the pixel book here and Mortal Kombat finally works on it. Now Mortal Kombat isn't new to Chromebooks. In fact, I've got the Samsung Chromebook Plus on my left here, which would be to your right and Mortal Kombat worked fine on that. But now it works on the pixel book, which I'm very, very excited about because on older versions it did work on the Pixelbook but there were performance issues the graphics didn't load properly so you couldn't play the game properly but not the case anymore so we're going to be making a video on playing Mortal Kombat on a Chromebook specifically the Pixelbook but again this can be done on many Chromebooks now I want to say this is going to be one of many videos that are going to be about gaming on a Chromebook and I just couldn't help but to think that it would be a great place to start with Mortal Kombat because Mortal Kombat is just an awesome game. It just gets me pumped. It has good graphics. It's touch based. It's very easy to play on a Chromebook, on the Android phone, anything like that. So anyone can play it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are at the home screen on my Pixelbook and Mortal Kombat can be picked up at the Google Play Store it's free and I'm just gonna show you where you can find it here and that's Mortal Kombat it's by Warner Bros a free game it does have in-app purchases but it works really good and the in-app purchases aren't actually necessary you don't have to go through and buy them I haven't bought anything on this game and I'm having a really good time playing it. So we're going to go ahead and hit the open button and this is going to be the loading screen here, the main screen. And we're just going to go ahead and show what this looks like so you can see just how long this takes to load and any issues we may have. So here we are at the home screen of Mortal Kombat and we have different selections we can make here. We've got a battle mode, we've got faction wars, we've got quest mode. Those are all fighting modes. And then we've got some other fighting modes here where we could get characters, gold characters. They're normally really good characters. Now I haven't played too many of these here. There are different modes as well where you can gain items in both of these here. Now on the very left here we have our collection. I've been playing Mortal Kombat for a very long time so I've got a pretty good collection and a lot of these are included in bundles and again I haven't paid for any of these. This is a really good free game with in-app purchases. You don't have to make any of the purchases whatsoever. Now as you can see we have different color cards here. We've got gold which would be the highest ideally. Then we would have a silver card which would be the middle. And then we'd have a bronze card like the Oshtek here. That's going to be the worst. But above that gold there's actually a diamond card here. And these are going to be the best cards. Now if we click on the card, we can actually click on the character. We could spin them around, take a look at what they look like. We can also do upgrades by purchasing them, make the character stronger. We can add equipment cards to enhance the character. And we could buy support cards, those also enhance the character. Now we're going to go ahead and actually go into a fight mode. I really like Faction Wars. And we can fight online. Now we'll go ahead and just do a normal battle so you can see how this looks. Now this is played by touch so we could just use a thumb on each side. Is 
All right, so that was the first match right there. So we're heading into the next match here. This girl looks pretty bad. She looks like she's from Pirates of the Caribbean or something. She ain't got nothing on us though. Get over here, girl. We're going on a date. <laughs> oh, I don't know who the guy, who this guy thinks he is. Oh man, I don't like that guy. He thinks he's cool or something. I got you. Get over here. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh oh. Yeah, this guy. So we got the last fight here, and this is the Faction Wars mode, so you can actually fight for your faction on here. So you're fighting for a group of people who are also in the same faction online. They don't know me, like I'm, I don't play. I haven't even pulled out my other characters yet. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I'm gonna send my boy out. Now this is the harder one to do. I can't really do the swipes all that good. But that's three out of three right there. We got some points for a faction. And at the end of every match, you do get rewards here. Okay, so that is Mortal Kombat on a Chromebook, on the Pixelbook specifically. And this can be played in this mode. It could also be played in laptop mode. It can also be played in tablet mode, just flat like this too. But I kind of like playing it up like this because then you don't have to hold it. It just seems to work really good that way. Now, I didn't make this video too long because honestly, I haven't really done many gaming videos. So I don't really know how to do these, but I really would love to get more into them. Now, I didn't screen record this one only because I haven't found a good screen recorder that works on the Pixelbook yet that won't cause the video to be choppy. Plus, I like when you can see my hands on a touch-based game so you can see exactly how it works. So that is pretty much it for this video tonight. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now you can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. That'll help us out because people see that the channel is gaining more subscribers and it's probably a really good channel as a result. And until next time, Leon checking out.